terrain parameters rollout so I'm going to pick on one of the lines of our contour lines that is a spline line and I'm going to go into my command panel go to geometry compound objects and go to terrain and I'm going to come around and pick my move and pick my operands here and I can come along and pick the various operands to make my particular terrain model. Now, if I come down into my parameters rollout, I could delete an operand. So here I'm going to come down to operand number four, which is line five. By the way, that's this top one up here. I'm going to delete that operand. And you can see, bam, it took it out of there. So I could take that out. Um, also, I can change oops, sorry, the form. The form right now is a graded surface. That means I draped a sheet over it. It's hollow underneath. Okay, so it's hollow underneath. And um, if I go to a graded solid, then you can see it's a solid object now. So there, it's got a fill underneath. If I go to a layer solid, it makes it look as though it was made with foam board. And this is very commonly done uh, when we make, say, terrain uh, models for like architecture. Um, we will put a buildings on it. We make these foam models out of it. Um, but most of the time we use graded surfaces. It looks more realistic. If I do stitch border, you'll notice along the edges, it looks a little more refined on the edges. So you can see in here where it comes in uh, right now, if you watch it right there and I do the stitch border, it smooths out the border line. And retriangulate will actually cause it then to be more precise terrain objects following the terrain uh, or the contour objects a little more closely. I can display just the terrain as I see it now, or I could see just the contours if I want. Or I could do both. I can see the, the terrain contours uh, and the, the the terrain. Most of the time we just want to see the terrain. The contours are kind of like a mathematical calculation of elevation. It's not really where the ground is. I could update it always. I could update it when I'm rendering or I can manually update it. So this is our parameters um, our parameters rollout of the terrain model.